is great to see. Welcome back to Tonight Show, Thank bud. Thank you, man. I'm so excited to see people. Yeah, it's amazing. They're so excited to see you. Uh, you look great, buddy. Oh, I, you know what? Uh, the pandemic, man, let me tell you, uh, I lost 70 pounds. Holy, good for you. Yeah. People, uh, people ask me all the time, what's your secret? I said, it's, it's no secret. They closed all the restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I'm still wearing the same shirt that I, I was wearing when I was still 70 pounds heavier because I plan to eat again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is uh, the last time you were on our show. Uh, you looked sharp, buddy, but here's you backstage. Oh. Yeah, look at that. I've never so, it's uh, rare to see you in a suit. The one and only time I ever wore a suit was on, on your show because the time before that I was wearing shorts and I heard you make a comment about, uh, thanks for dressing up. And I'm like, oh, and my family saw the show and they're like, eres ¿por qué no te pusiste pantalones? Te vistes malo, te en la playa. And I'm like, all right, look, I get it, I get That's it. That's right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, know, you know what she's saying. Uh, <laughs> you know what she's saying. Something around that, yeah. So course. I says, when I come back, if I get invited back, I go, I'm gonna go all out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear a suit. And I uh, put the picture out. Look, I had a little bit of an issue. This is your wardrobe area, and uh, these two, uh, yes. are, you know, they, they, I think they still work here. Yes. Um, so apparently what happened is uh, I had a wardrobe malfunction, okay? Yeah, because I never wore pants. Clearly, I, had, I did it today. But uh, the pant leg ripped, and so there was a, you know, I was bringing sexy back that day. And before the show, as you were getting ready to introduce me, and so we had to stop everything, and, and I had to go in the back, and they had to sew it up, and and fix me up, and tape me together, and I mean, look at me right. There. I don't wear. Some people wear suits, and they look nice, okay, and some some look like affordable lawyers. <laughs> no, 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 no. You look. Come on. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, a low-budget Secret Service guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he got shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I almost want to say, uh, look at you now, because you're going to be performing uh, at Dodger Stadium. The first comedian ever to perform at Dodger Stadium. Are you... It's already sold out. You're, you're adding, like, another second show or something. This is an audience of yeah. 40,000 people. I know. I'm like the bad bunny of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited about it? He's a fluffy that? bunny. It's, it, it's... <laughs> <laughs> if we ever do a collab, it's going to be perfect. Yeah, Fluffy of bad bunny. Fluffy yeah. bad bunny, yeah. Uh, it's surreal because it's like, you know, whenever I tell people I'm doing Dodger Stadium, they're like, well, what, you, you singing the national anthem? You, you know, are you cleaning it? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, and I'm like, no, I'm performing. They're like, do they have like a small room? <laughs> and I'm like, it, it's, yeah. it's like the Super Bowl for a comedian. Yeah, you know? of course it is. And not everybody gets to play the Super Bowl, so I feel very fortunate that it's happening and it's happening in my hometown. And um, yeah, it's it's well already done, buddy. You, know? you put the work in, and man, you're funny. It's going to be great. Congratulations on that. that's a dream come true. Thank that's you. beyond a dream. How could you even dream about that? Yeah, you know, you you say, uh, how can you dream of something like that? Because people ask me all the time, did you ever think that it could get this big? And I'm like, no. Uh, I, my only goal in life when I first started doing stand-up was um, I just want to pay my rent. Yeah. You know, because people always say, reach for the stars. <laughs> it's unrealistic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I tell people, reach for the second floor. <laughs> Might and, be yeah, and this way, if you end up on the roof, you are an overachiever. That's exactly <laughs> correct, yeah. yeah. Uh, what is, uh, you're going to debut something exclusively just for us tonight. What, what's your story behind these So, uh, a couple of years ago, I, uh, I started uh, this beautiful relationship with a company called Funko. Yes. And Funko has these pop figures, and basically, they're the hottest thing out there. Every year, Comic-Con, I mean, you know, millions of these figures have been sold, and they, uh, when I approached them to see if there was interest in having a comedian pop, they're like, well, we don't have a category for comedians. And I'm like, well, maybe we can start one. And uh, next thing I know, we, uh, you know, we made a little deal, and they came out with a figure for me. But and this sold one, out. yes, we sold. I've sold uh, a lot of those, and yeah, yeah a yeah. lot, a I lot, mean, <laughs> a lot. Thank you, Funko. Yeah. Uh, but to commemorate the Dodger Stadium show, uh, Funko made me a special one specifically for Dodger Stadium, and it comes out this week. And this is the first time anyone's going to see it. Here we go. Quest, so, can I get a little drum roll, please? Ladies and gentlemen, Stadium Fluffy. <laughs> Stadium Fluffy. <laughs> Come on! Congratulations, buddy. <laughs> Couldn't happen to a better guy, man. Thank you. 
Gabriel Iglesias, everybody. Go see him perform at Dodger Stadium May 6th and 7th. Hey, hey.